So Reggie Love, your book Power Forward came out this week. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, what a body man is and kind of what you did day to day working with President yeah. Obama. Yeah. Most of it is showing up, solving problems, and trying to anticipate the needs and, and issues that may arise throughout, you know, throughout a day. What would be sort of in your bag, you know, always had to have it? I mean, you, you always had to have tons of Purell. Uh, you know, you, you needed to have, you know, a Metrex bar, and, and you also needed to have, uh, you know, the, the, two, the Nicorette two milligram. Right. Uh, those were those were the constants. What does a body man have in his bag for himself? <laughs> That's a great question. No one's ever asked me that. For during the campaign, I was probably I would be on the road for twenty five, six, seven, eight days of the month. So I'd have you know my checkbook, my passport. <laughs> uh, I'd have like a bag of potato chips just in case you know I, I couldn't find something to eat on the road that day. Uh, tons of water. You know I missed a lot of events. So I, I always would carry some stationery so that even if I couldn't physically be there, I would take time to sort of like write a note and say to a friend, congrats on a wedding or a birthday or, hey, mom, I'm in Iowa. It's cold here. Mm -hmm. You've spoken about this. Obama's basketball game is pretty good. You know, uh, he's not a guy that's going to go out and, you know, fill up the stat column, but he's a guy <laughs> that everyone wants to, is going to want to play with. Uh, mm -hmm. He's like a guy that makes everyone better, you know. Uh, you know, great vision, great passer, will knock down an open shot, will, you know, knows how to play defense, knows how to make all the rotations. What about, is there any other West Wingers that we'd be surprised actually have some pretty good, I know Arnie Duncan obviously, but Arnie's is there anybody else there. that's got you some know, Dennis McDonough's got a little bit of game. I know okay. that he was talking some smack about how he beat me uh -huh. in a two-on-two -two game. Uh -huh. uh, Dan Pfeiffer is okay. a really good basketball player. So now uh, we're not so far out from 2016. 2016 is like right around the corner, isn't yeah. it? Man, it's like... Where, Gotta get started where, where, where again. Where did the time go? You mentioned there's about a couple interactions between Hillary Clinton and President Obama. Um, would you like to see her run? Hillary Clinton is more than capable, uh, I think. Uh, and, and I also think there are others out there who could, you know, if she decided, if she decides not to, I think there are other people that are out there that could carry the torch. Right. And then uh, last question, do you have any desire to run for office? Do you see yourself doing that at some point? <laughs> you know, that's a very, uh, like, that question keeps coming up. Uh, you know, I... I think being a part of the political process is important, as I've said a couple times today. Um, if there if there were a need and I was qualified and capable, and you know, it worked out. I mean, I wouldn't. I would not say I would never do it, but it's not something that's like on the, the list of things like next to do. All the things on my list of next to do are like really really fun. Okay. <laughs>